Hey guys, today we're going to talk about why was Antonio Brown cancelled. Let's get right into it. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have officially cut ties with Antonio Brown, terminating his contract and contradicting the player's claim that he was fired in the middle of a game for not playing through an ankle injury. Coach Bruce Arian stated that Brown was upset that he was not being targeted enough in the first half of the game against the New York Jets last January and that the situation escalated in the third quarter. Arian said, Discussing the circumstances of Brown's bizarre exit in detail for the first time publicly, at no point in time during that game did he ever ask for the trainer or doctor about his ankle. That's the normal protocol. I was never notified of it. He then added, he was very upset at halftime about who was getting targeted. We calmed down. Players took care of that. The coach added, it started again on the sideline. We called the personnel group that he had played in the entire game. He refused to go to the game. Arian said when he became aware of the situation, he went to Brown to ask what's going on. The coach said Brown responded, I ain't playing, I ain't getting the ball. Arian said, that's when I said you're done, get out of here, that's the end of it. We're working on Carolina. He then added, that's the end of the story, hopefully it ends today. The Buccaneers terminated Brown's contract one day after the receiver broke his silence on the matter alleging in a statement released by the player's attorney that Arians fired him on the spot because Brown refused to re-enter the game because he was too injured to continue playing. Arians said, you can't force a player to play. They have that choice. It's their body, Arians said. He decided to play. Brown alleged a cover-up. He said, I didn't quit. I was cut. I didn't walk away from my brothers. I was thrown out. He then added, being fired on the sideline for having a painful injury was bad enough. Then came their spin. Coach denied on national television that he knew about my ankle. That's 100% inaccurate. Brown then added, not only did he know I missed several games with the injury, he and I exchanged texts days before the game where he clearly acknowledged my injury. Brown, who has a long history of questionable behavior on and off the field, including being accused of sexual assault by two women, one of whom claimed he raped her, took off his jersey, shoulder pads, undershirt, and gloves before leaving the sideline. The receiver, who began his career with the Pittsburgh Steelers, tossed some of his gear into the stands, did some jumping jacks, and waved to fans as he made his way to the locker room at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The Bucks said in a statement, while Antonio did receive treatment on his ankle and was listed on the injury report the week leading up to the last Sunday's game, he was cleared to play by our medical team prior to the start of the game and at no point during the game did he indicate to our medical personnel that he could not play. The statement added, We have attempted multiple times throughout this week to schedule an evaluation by an outside orthopedic specialist, yet Antonio is not complying. The statement then ended, Maintaining the health and wellness of our players is of the utmost importance to our organization. While Brown did not specify which ankle was injured, an MRI performed on Monday revealed broken bone fragments, a ligament tear, and cartilage loss that are beyond painful, according to a statement released by attorney Sean Burston. From the outside, you can see the bone bulging. Despite saying after the game that he was no longer a member of the defending Super Bowl champions, Brown remained on the roster. Brown's absence from practice was noted in the injury report as not injury-related-personal. NFL Players Association President and Brown Center J.C. Treader said the union will investigate Brown's claims. He said through a Zoom call with Cleveland reporters, It's something you don't want to hear that. He then added, I won't get too much into individual person's cases. It's kind of always our policy but it's something we definitely have to look into and see what's going on down there. Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady was among those who backed the decision to sign Brown in October 2020. As the receiver was nearing the end of an eight-game suspension for multiple violations of the NFL's personal conduct policy, Brown injured his ankle in a win over Philadelphia in mid-October and didn't play again until December 26 against Carolina a two-month span that included an NFL-imposed three-game suspension for lying about his COVID-19 vaccination status. The receiver joined the Bucks midway through last season, with Arians declaring at the time that there would be no tolerance for the type of incidents that had previously derailed Brown's career. 
Last February, he helped Tampa Bay win its first Super Bowl in nearly two decades, and he returned this season on a one-year $3.1 million contract that could have been worth up to twice that with incentives. Brown played in seven games of the season, accumulating 42 receptions for 545 yards and four touchdowns. His 144-game streak with at least one reception is the longest in the league among active players. That's all for today. We'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.